Uh, Rob, I have a question for you. Um, and, and obviously you and I have, have spoken quite a bit. And, and when I, I said on a previous episode, if you talk to Rabbi Ella long enough, she'll have you tied back to somewhere your family comes from Italy. Um, and even when I said that the majority of my family comes from Romania, you said, well, you're probably Italian because at one point Romania Roman was part of the Roman Empire. That's right. What about the Roman what about the names that aren't so, you know, like when we look at the list on your page, you know, they're very, most majority of them are very obviously Italian type of names. Well, what about, what about those Jews, like using me as an example, that might have these Italian Jewish roots, but don't have a typical Italian kind of name? My family name was Rosenblum. Well, probably what happened was that you had the family had a, a Romanian name that um, uh, was then 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 the family adopted Rosenblum because there was a way at a, at the t at the t um, back in the day uh, during the Austro-Hungarian Empire that you could a Jew could buy a nice name and that's why they would buy Rosenblum that was a really pretty name so they bought a name that gave them a certain amount of status that was probably not your original name and the, the family name but the the Italian language and the Romanian language are very similar, and the reason is is that there was a lot of crossover a lot in in the language itself, and also the the Rome people, the what called um, commonly called gypsies, Zingari. Zingari is an Italian name which has Jewish roots, and the gypsy population has been, it has been determined, was predominantly Jewish, were itinerant Jewish peddlers. So there, and, and that's what we do, we, we maintain inquisition records, and uh, we have them and we look to see if a person with the name, the family name of the person who's asked us to do a research report for them on a, on a surname, we look to see if indeed anyone with that family name was ever persecuted for having been Jewish. And uh, and then we're able to tell them what happened to the family because eerily, eerily and uncannily, the Inquisition kept um, kept detailed records of arresting people, confiscating their property, torturing them, and murdering them in a public burning called an auto de fe, and uh, just the way the Nazis did. And uh, uh, and so we check to see if someone with that family sur surname was persecuted as a Jew, and then we try to see if the name traveled, because back in the day families did not travel except for very important reasons, like somebody was trying to kill you, and so when th if the name traveled, we look to see what the uh, what the traveling pattern was. We do not establish a bloodline, but we can tell you if families with your surname were ever persecuted for having been Jewish, and I will say this. In all of the people, the hundreds of people who have come to the cultural center to ask about their, for their surname, I have never f worked with a person who did not have even a minimal Jewish connection. And that tells me that the, that the little light in the soul, the neshama, the light in the soul, has never died. And that's why we call our synagogue, Ne'er to me del Sud, the eternal light of the South. Oh, Rabbi, I just have to say one thing, and then you can jump in, Carl. When you just said we're gypsies, I got chills, and I'm going to tell you why. My grandmother, who was to my whole family like the queen, she was, you don't get to be a better person than her. She used to joke, or we thought she was joking, when she used to say we were gypsies. And I thought she said that because my brothers like to move around the country, but I, I think there is definitely a much more deeper meaning based on what you said. Oh yes, absolutely. If you could go back, if you knew the town where they came from, and you could go back there and you could find some people who knew the family when. Now, of course, with Nazi persecution decimated many, many families. And uh, but if you could find what the name was before it became Rosenblum, I think that would be very, very interesting for you. So tell me, Rabbi, what does the name? We'll we'll see how much how how well you did in. A high school in studying English literature. What does the name Deronda say to you, if anything? D, uh, D, uh, D E capital R. D E capital R O N D A. Well, what that tells me right away is anything with the D E D I D apostrophe L apostrophe Lo and La. All of those um, mean the the person specific or the D D apostrophe. 
and de mean son of. And those are derivatives of Avraham ben Shmuel, son of, the configuration for making a Hebrew name when we, when we Jews had no last names. And we were Avraham ben Shmuel, or we were Sarah bat uh, Hana. And, and so the D became, from the, the Italian configuration, filio D or filia D, son of, daughter of, and then Rhonda.